And welcome back. That was Blidworth Welfare and um, MD Martin Hartfield finishing off their programme with Highland Cathedral. We didn't mention what they were playing at the start, so they did start with End of the Galaxies by Paul Lover Cooper. Uh, tremendous solo from a uh, young 14-year-old Morgan Gallimo, Helter Skelter on the xylophone. Great to hear that. Shine is light by Peter Graham. And then in celebration of Scotland's performance against South Africa yesterday, <laughs> they rounded off with Highland Cathedral, which was actually written by... Two Germans. Two Germans. Mm. So the Germans always win in the end, so that's part of it there. But we're back here, joined by our guest, Mark Peacock, MD of Longridge Band. And of course, they call it, what do they call it? They got your name wrong, John, didn't they? John Hunter, they call it. John Hunter, they call it. He apologised profusely immediately afterwards. <laughs> they did quite right there as well. But gentlemen, no, no, back to join us there. And we've got to say as well is that you were banned after winning the most entertaining prize yeah. and also gaining second place from this fine adjudicator. Wonderful oh, one, one, one the best I've ever had. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> they're, of course, they're all now in the bar. They're, so they're in the bar. Long if you're in the bar, in the bar. Band, please give us a give cheer. Give us a big cheer now. No. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> somebody's got the bar. Somebody's yeah, got the bar. Trying to buy the race. Cool. Well, congratulations Thanks for that. Much. You've been you've been in charge now for long about five years. Five years. Five, five these years. It's one of those bands in a in a very competitive area mm -hmm. in the Please. northwest. So, how do you progress and how do you keep the band really pushing forward? We've got a great band. It's one of the best bands I've ever been involved in. Uh, the organisation committee. We've just started a youth band. We've got 150 patrons. Um, my, my wife plays there, it's a family band, the, the lads go along, it's just proper banding like it used to be and we grew up with and it's just a wonderful set of people and uh, we have great fun, we've come along today, we'll have a great time back on the coach and it'll be sing songs and it's... It, it's just wonderful. I just can't, you know, I just can't say enough of it. It's very enjoyable. I have to say this on camera as well that he's actually promised all the members of the band that he will buy them. I think I'm breaking up here. A drink. <laughs> 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 so you've heard it your face. He's promised them. So there we are. They're all racing to the bar inside. Are they doing so that? Out. So congratulations for that. And that brings us on to you, John, mm -hmm. as well. You talked about a pertinent point as well about a holistic the holistic approach. holistic approach that's in. The Does rules. this mean the death of tick box? Uh, I did allude to that. Yes. You're well spotted. Oh, we pick yeah. up on all these things. <laughs> we pick it all on, yeah. We're trying yeah. to get away from that, or anyone who tries to introduce that, that type of approach, particularly in a contest like this, where we, there is, it's, it isn't just a, a test piece. It's, a, it's got to be judged in the round. So we're looking from the very first note to the last. We're looking at, actually, we're looking at the continuity between pieces. That's one thing that Mark did very well, the comparing. I, I do think the environment today with the TV, with the broadcast on the internet, I think it did unnerve some people early on in the concert. I think that was noticeable. Having pros like us doing the job so well. <laughs> they, they, they were intimidated by that, I do think that. But as the contest progressed, the winning two bands did fit together the programme far better and the continuity between pieces was, was much superior than earlier on. I'm going to say for this because the we did allude you know, a bit lightheartedly about the tick box mentality, but it, it is a, an approach that some people are some people trying are, to bring have in. Have been in favour from of that north of Adrian's Wall, we understand, uh, which are they trying like, to yes, infuse into. But we it's, have had in the adjudicators association, of which I'm still on the executive. I'm actually still responsible for the newly designed trainee scheme that we're starting it up again next year because we've had an embargo this year because we've, we've actually got 80 odd members in the organisation so there's got to be a limit but we've in conjunction with, with David Hurst uh, we've we've revised the process started again for the new year we're going to have some new trainees but we we're trying to get away from a tick box mentality where you've got em equal emphasis on tuning balance ensemble and soloistic playing and all the rest of it. We're trying to look at the performance, whether it's a test piece or a, or a contest like this, in the round. And a holistic, it's a good word, holistic. It is. It, it took us ages to find out what it meant. But never mind. Yeah. We, 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 no, no, Manuel Pellegrini. Well, it it is. It's a Man City approach. You win 6-1 yeah, against yeah, Newcastle. Yeah. That's it. That's <laughs> it. I'm a league supporter, so I know all about holistic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're, we're trying to get away from the simplistic tick box approach, which isn't, a, isn't appropriate for everything. It isn't appropriate if uh, uh, certain pieces of music chosen these days aren't dependent on melody and, uh, and soloistic um, involvement. I can give you an example. I mean, a, a good test piece like Diversions on a Bass Theme, there's hardly any men solo work at all, mm. certainly no cadenzas. So you, don't, you have to approach that in the round entirely different way that you would approach uh, an, 
an older piece, let's say something like Journey to Freedom, in which you've got a lot of melodic work, you've got a lot of solo work. Is it, the you, what you, so what you're actually saying then, what we actually need is, uh, Chris, you, you've said this as well, better adjudicators, more experienced, understanding of the medium can make better subjective decisions. It's not a question of get in a situation whereby tick these ten boxes and then the winner will come out at the end. No, it's, it's about the quality of the people that are sitting in the box, isn't it? And I think I don't know, there were of the trainees were shadowing experienced adjudicators last time. Presumably that's something that, that some will of, continue. Some of the trainees have come, come forward, uh, who I've been responsible for, have turned out to be absolutely first rate. I'll give yeah. some examples. Uh, Tom Dabaran's an example. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy called Nick Garman. You might not know him, but he's a car yeah, yeah, yeah. plays for G- in the yeah. 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 Redbridge. Yeah. He's a teacher down south, and uh, I helped him a few years ago. He's very good, there's no question about it. That's the sort of people that we're after. Yeah. Well, we're going to say, hopefully we can carry on this conversation. No, we, we will be doing that now with the next band. But the next band, of course, is Pult and Lathile, which you uh, listened to a little I bit did. earlier on and found out. And they're going to do a reprise of Theogony, Creation and Destruction, which certainly made an impression on uh, the people who heard it and also made an impression on people who listened to the narration as well. It's fair to say there was a couple of gulps <laughs> when the, sto- the storyline was coming, coming out, especially with some things, a kind of gentleman of a certain age. Gra- graphic story yeah, in very, places. A graphic yeah. story. Like, yes, but it was yeah. very, very enjoyable, I must admit, there. So, Pulp Mafia will be coming to the stage as well with the MD Dave Collins any moment now. So, with that, I think it's time to go back to the hall and where we can see the band taking onto the stage to play Theogony, Creation and Destruction. <laughs> 